until about 1 and 2 o'clock before it does begin to taper off. Breaks of sunshine before the end of the day and clearing skies overnight tonight. In general, snowfall amounts dusting to an inch for southern New Hampshire, 1 to 2 inches for central Mass, Boston, also across southeastern Mass. Three-inch pockets are possible in spots, especially Connecticut and Rhode Island. We'll have high temperatures today and the upper 20s to lower 30s, sunshine by day's end. This weather report sponsored by Hotels.com, the smarter way to book. Thanks so much. That's your latest weather. Now here's Erica. Muddy thanks. Scott Brown first attracted national attention when he won the Senate seat long held by Ted Kennedy. He is now in the spotlight once again, but for a very different reason. The Massachusetts senator has a new book out today that reveals how he was sexually and physically abused as a child. Last night on 60 Minutes, he told Leslie Stahl how the book actually helped him reconcile with his parents and how he is learning to live his life under increased public scrutiny. What this book don't you think it's going to be twice as much? Really? See, I don't think that. But but it's awfully intimate. It's like going on Oprah <laughs> and spilling it all out there. Uh, it's 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 who I am. I, I can't hide from who I am. It's what happened. It's well, you didn't have to tell it. Yeah, but and it's like half truth. I, I, I don't I don't I like to just get it out there. Senator Brown's autobiography, Against All Odds, is available today. He joins us here in the studio now. Uh, you told Leslie you just kind of wanted to get it all out there. Why now, though? Well, it, it's part of who I am. It's a small part, but it, 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 there's a whole lot more. And I felt uh, by glossing over the, the tough parts and just focusing on the really nice things, it's, it's a disservice to the reader, and, and it's not who I am. Um, it is, it's tough to read. Um, it's, it's very graphic. You're very descriptive um, in the abuse that you endured, the sexual abuse and the physical abuse. Uh, when it comes to the sexual abuse, your parents didn't really know about it. Your wife didn't know the extent of it until you wrote about it for the book. Um, was this the best way for you to put it forth, was to write about it? I wasn't going to, uh, but then as I was wrestling with actually doing it, I, I felt it was important to let others know that even under those tough circumstances, if you, you should fight back, number one, and you should tell somebody, and if I can, by bringing it forward, somebody who's an, a high elected official can talk about it, it, it it'll hopefully help other people deal with their uh, you know, abuse uh, situations as well. And, and you've focused on this since you came into office. Yeah, I mean, not, I haven't been beating a drum over it, but mm -hmm. every time uh, when I deal with issues of crime and punishment, I, I come down on the rights of victims and, and certainly try to strengthen our sex offender laws and deal with issues affecting uh, abuse victims. Uh, your abuser, it, correct me if I'm wrong, but under yeah. Massachusetts law, you can actually still file charges against your abuser. Um, you've chosen not to. Why? Well, I'm a forward looker. Uh, it's hard to look back, obviously, and it's taken 42 years to even really talk about it. And I'm not out to settle any scores, but if I can help people certainly uh, move forward with their lives by talking about it. And uh, he's probably 70 years old. I don't even know if he's alive. I wouldn't even know where to begin to look. And I'm focusing on so many more important things in my life right now. Mm -hmm. This has obviously shaped you so much. When we read about the, the physical abuse that you endured, uh, you went through between your two parents seven marriages. You moved, what, 17 times by the time you were 18? Yeah, it's actually eight marriages, but uh, yeah. Um, it, when you talk about, though, one stepfather in particular, and I'm just going to read something from the book. Well, my friends worry about their grades, whether their parents would let them borrow the car, or about fights with their girlfriends, thinking, is tonight going to be the night when Larry finally breaks my hand? That same Larry would say to you after beating you at night, when you're asleep, I'll take you out. That's when I'll come in. How did enduring that, living through that, how did that contribute to the Scott Brown that we know today? Well, I'm always very aware of my surroundings. I'm always on guard with the kids, especially. I'm like, you know, when you go here, make sure you have somebody. Be, I've taught them to be aware. And now that they're uh, older, they, they they now say, oh, that's why Dad's like that. Mm -hmm. It's certainly uh, made me a fighter. It's made me somebody who wants to be a protector of not only my, my family, but uh, my mom and my sister. Um, it, it doesn't paint your mom necessarily, perhaps, in the most flattering light, either one of your parents. You had reconciled with your parents, but for them to read about this, yeah. um, what's your mother's reaction? Yeah, they're, they're obviously, they know their shortcomings, and but to have it out there certainly is difficult. But uh, we're, we're like many other families, and some families are much worse. We're a work in progress. We will always be a work in progress, but they love me, I love them, and they, we've had a, a full reconciliation. This has actually been a very positive. When you read the whole book, you'll see how we all come together at the end for a common goal and the one thing my mom taught me is never give up you know work hard 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 and never give up
Uh, when you look at your own family, you, your wife, Gail, you have two daughters. Ayla, of course, we know well here as a special...